One of the most requested things that I get is to get someone that is British on my channel talking about the differences in culture between Italy and England. And in case you didn't notice, because you haven't really said anything yet, but he's got a better accent than me. Way better accent than me. I want to speak in a different accent now just to mess with you, but I can't think of one in time. Can you actually make another accent? No. <laughs> I can't make a different accent from this. I can go slightly American though. I can go slightly American, but I try to avoid it. Honestly. It's just because if you want to be American, can you give me a glass of water? <laughs> it's kind of like that sort of time. And also your voice goes nasal for some reason. Everything goes like is that is that what it is? Whenever I think of like someone American, I think of Louis C.K. Oh, is, is that your go-to American? <laughs> when he goes for the impression of uh, like women in America. That's your go-to? Yeah. It's Louis C.K. doing an impression yeah, of it. That that's is so my... specific. Because it's such a Californian girl. It's like a West seeing... Coast yeah. type of thing. That's cool. Yeah, this is the funny thing about being British is that I'm also part American. So I've got even more of a weird relationship with British culture. Yeah, so this is gonna be interesting because yeah. technically we are not fully British at all, like well you're more, you're more than me, but anyway like it's gonna be interesting to see someone else's opinion on stuff that I've said already online before because I talked about the differences in culture already mm. and I want yeah. to focus on the social differences that we have between the two countries because I definitely experienced all of them and I made a bullet point. You made notes. But yeah, one of the first things that I want to talk about was, for example, the drinking culture in this country seems to be very different from what I experienced in every other European country or specifically Italy. But you've also been to America, so I guess yeah. you're kind of like being back and forth. What's, what's been the experience of, of Italy first? Well, I come from a family of people that don't drink. So I, and I started drinking when I was 18. And when I first moved here, I had uh, literally just started drinking. I got basically thrown into this incredible alcohol culture of people that drink socially mm. almost as much as smoking. Obviously I can always speak for what I've seen and what I've experienced and yeah. what I've felt. I noticed it happening more often that it happens to go out more often and drinking more um, when you're here in England mm. and especially when you go to parties there is a culture of pre-drinking which yeah. is something that I never experienced in Italy. Going out to drink and going out specifically to get drunk yeah. is a part of sort of of, of culture here. But also like drinking with the families is a type of culture here that I notice so many friends of mine that like go home to their families and they get drunk with their families and it's something so out of my imagination. I've never done that before. I'm not against the idea of it, but, no, no, but no. I, have I have friends who do, who will, you know, happily sit down and crack open a bottle with their parents and... Yeah, and like they will just like, you know, have a drink with them and like get drunk together. I don't know if people in other people in Italy actually do often get drunk with their family, but... I reckon it probably happens everywhere, but if you've never been a person that's done it before, and I've never been a person that's done it before either, it does... it, it sounds a little strange at first sounds thought. Sounds like you're defending yourself a lot. I mean... I've, you know, I secretly have a terrible alcohol problem. I'm drunk right now. My experience of alcohol has, has always been really strange, and I'll rarely drink to the- I've, I've never drank to the point of being blackout drunk, but yeah. I have drank to the point of being drunk, of course. Yeah, it's quite ingrained in our culture. I, I feel like it's very much a cultural thing, like people would just go out to the pub and get a few pints with friends, out of nowhere and you know you, you get drunk with friends in mid afternoon because it's fine and you will see people at the pub i'm like the slowest eater in the world oh my god it's true i won't make anyone wait for me i'll be like you guys go ahead but i'm gonna be here for like another half hour <laughs> no like literally he was eating a burger the other day i have never seen someone taking it like you took your time i took my sweet time it was a good burger and i regret nothing also he puts the fries on the side of the box of the burger. That's not a weird thing. I have never seen the anyone do opens, it. The box opens, there are two compartments. In one you can have the burger, in the other you can have the fries. It's all in one place. But you've got the fries already in one container. But now it's in, and now it's closer. You can move the container closer. No. Yes. I disagree. Oh my God. I've put the work in. I'll pretend that you're right. In the same time, like here in England, you can get access to a lot of food. I noticed that when I was walking around Italy, where the food there is lovely but there is quite a sort of singular yes a singular kind of food that it that it you know produces we're very proud of our own food culture yeah. our own food and what we make and what we do for good reason oh it's so good <laughs> yes it is really good i'll admit that but like but it's very sort of like also a 
bit discriminative with other types of food and people sometimes well my dad didn't used to trust eating like asian food because he no. didn't think it was going to be good just hadn't tried it properly no exactly and also because like the stuff that got to us i think at the beginning wasn't exactly mm. that good i think that's that getting better. a part of, of of being like english i guess as well you know our culture is has been changed so much by other cultures as well so getting indian food here is like one of the most British things you can do funnily enough because we had mass immigration from India yeah and it just kind of as they say vented us like a national cuisine it might not be the exact same one that you can actually have in like the proper yeah, country authenticity yeah, is a, yeah. English food is like it's it's fine you want to kick me sausage and mash okay that's because like I'm not saying it's gonna blow your mind but you have to have tried it she's never had sausage and mash because I'm vegan I'm, I'll make a vegan version of it but just some experience of it needs to be had. Of What's course. the other thing that you want to make me? Um, milkshake. Milkshakes. Vegan. Mil She's never had a milkshake. I'm never... not weird for thinking that's weird. Yes. <laughs> what is it so upsetting about me not getting a milkshake? Okay, here's what I'm saying. Enjoying a milkshake on like a warm summer's day, want just one of the best experiences a person can have. What's a granita? <laughs> Actually, there was a really sad thing that happened the other day. Basically, um, we have natural slushy in Italy, and they're called granita. Natural slushy. Yeah. It's like a fruit slushy, like uh, basically crushed ice okay, and yeah, fruit yeah. juice. That sounds good. It's really, really good. It's my favorite thing to get on mm. the summer. And the other day I was on the bus and the van in front of us said granite, granite, which is like the plural of granita. And it was granite. like, <laughs> and then I realized it was actually granite. And I was like, oh. It's rocks. It's just rocks. <laughs> oh, and... I was so sad. It is piace. Yeah, well, you actually don't really have that much of a bad accent, you know? Thank you. What was actually your experience of Italy when you came around? Oh, I thought it was beautiful. Everyone I thought it was beautiful. so beautiful. It definitely felt like a place that hadn't forgot its past or its culture, which is really nice and was working very hard to hang on to that. You know? I think it's a good and a bad way. Yeah. yeah, no, for better or for worse. And it felt just alive, felt really, you know, vibrant. Um, and I thought Rome was really nice. I went to Rome twice last year, actually. Wow, you, you I went, went all out for on it. the Rome. All, I went ham on Rome. It was great. Ham. I went ham on Rome, yeah. What does it, you went ham? Like going, like going all out. This is the same discussion that I had with a friend of mine about <laughs> idioms, like, they don't make sense in other, like, in other languages. Why would it rain cats and dogs? I can't explain that one. Oh yeah, I want to talk about the sense of humour. Oh no. <laughs> it's something that I really want to talk about in okay, a video. Okay. Really. I struggle because Italian sense of humour is incredibly offensive. Okay. And I already make a few mistakes before yeah. joking. British humour is really weird because we're very sarcastic, generally speaking. We're very sarcastic, but our culture also comes from a place of being quite sort of polite. Right. And so our humour is really weird because you finding where the line is is tough. I find it really funny and I understand it decently well when it's not too sarcastic and I'm like, am I being offended here? <laughs> That's, something That's that when you know you're just having a conversation with someone you shouldn't be talking to. You're like, oh, you're just mean. Actually, you've been a very good therapist today. Hey. Thing is that a lot of people bond around humour as well. So it's really difficult when you come from another country to be able to gather that humour so well yeah. that you're able to connect with other people that have got that sense of humour. When I, when I, I moved to America when I was 10 and when I lived out there, it was really strange for me at first because you'd make like little quips and stuff like that. And people just wouldn't... I mean, they get it, but it wasn't their kind of humour. Yeah. They understand that it's yeah. funny, but it's sort of like a, an alright funny yes. and not like an actual funny. Yes, that is humorous, he said, instead of laughing. <laughs> and it's like... Hilarious. <laughs> full yeah. stop. Except full stop, yeah. I want the exclamation mark. From your past and from your, like, growing up in the same yeah. country and sometimes... It's like, remember know. Italy? And I'm like, no, I didn't grow up there. And I find it kind of funny... I want to go back for what it's worth, I really do. You should. Yeah? You know that so many friends of mine went to Italy and they were like, I think I climbed that at some okay, point. Okay, <laughs> I, I said that like seven times really? a day. I was like, I definitely climbed that. <laughs> I definitely climbed that. Next thing you know, I'm climbing it for real now. There's a guy that's like <laughs> hanging from the he's tower. He's dressed in a hood. He's on the tower, Leaning Tower of Pisa and we don't know what he's doing. There's I missed out on the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh, well. So the people I went that with. Is just the tower that that's what they said. In. The people that um, I missed out on all of the. It's actually quite scary because the ground actually is like going down on one side, and that. Is that why it's like... leaning? Yeah. From your own experience, how have 
social interaction been different here in England from America? Americans don't do banter. What do you mean? They don't, like they do, but they do it differently. Because I know, I consider myself a relatively social person. But I also don't think that I interact with people the way that most British people do. I think it's really, really easy to start talking to someone here. Compared to Italy? Yes. It's why it's a lot more difficult to gather, like, just to get someone's attention in, in Italy. In here, it's also a lot more complicated to get close to people. It's very easy to get a lot of acquaintances and very difficult to get good friends. I can I can agree with that, yeah. yeah. My experience of the culture here has been, it's been very, hello, how do you do, how's your day? Exactly, but when it comes Small to sort talk. of Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, but when it comes to sort of working to the sort of deeper layers, okay, if I go to the to a person and I say, I'm gonna shoot you, do you think they're gonna go, oh yeah, let me pose? Or do you think they're gonna be really scared and they're gonna run? That is actually a good question, we should try. Let's not try. Social experiment. Oh my god, gone wrong. It was just a prank. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> prank, bro. Do you know how there is this thing that if someone's a funny person and tells a joke, it's always going to be funny. If someone that is not meant to be a funny person tells a joke, it's, it's like, not as funny. Was it, was it a joke? Yeah. Were they being funny? Because yeah. I don't know then if offensive is the right word for my sense of humour. Because what I mean is that I would insult you. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. I would not mean it. Yeah, it's insulting but it's not designed to be like you're going to be upset by this. That is kind yeah. of like Italian humour. It's just kind of outrageous. It doesn't... Because nobody really thinks about the culture shock that it could be because... How much of a culture shock could there be between Italy and England? They're so close. Yeah, you Europe assume that still... because of the distance, there's not going to be much culture, but exactly. it's so different. It yeah. is. It, there is. And, and it's in the smallest things, but they're the one that shock you the most, I think. Mm. It comes from, from food, from the carpet on the floor, from the brands of the food, and mm. you, you see, like, the spaghetti hoops and, <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Or... Shout out to spaghetti hoops one time. Or, like... People queuing in front of the bus stop, or yeah. um, I don't know, people not stepping on the grass, and people buying rounds of drinks, pre drinking, and, and pre drinking going... is a weird one. And I think we covered enough stuff and we talked for a long We've time. We've been here for nine hours. Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna have a l really nice time editing this. I hope you find it interesting, and if you have anything else that you wanna add, uh, or anything that you think we didn't say correctly, or that you have another opinion on, uh, please like, just let me know in the comments below. I'm always really interested in knowing what your opinions are, and if there's actually a different way of seeing things, or I just haven't maybe experienced that side of it. Of course, if you wanna see a video with Sam, there's one on his channel where we talk about film school and film university. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Booyah!